Warning, this movie contains flashing lights, loud noises, gore, and possible jump scares. Please proceed with caution. Good morning, Star. Gosh, you scared me. Ha, sorry, I didn't mean to. By the way, are you feeling better now? Huh, better? What do you mean, better? Did you forget what happened yesterday? How come I haven't gotten into any problem yet? Yeah, um, you also hit your head pretty badly yesterday. That's why we brought you here. Well, okay, I guess. Anyways, there's a washroom on the left if you want to take a shower. Go ahead. Hell yeah. <laughs> Wow, you got some talent you got there. Where are my clothes? What clothes? They were right here. Hmm, well I saw Clockwork leaving with some. So yeah, she probably took them. Hmm, not surprised. Hey, I haven't seen you here before. You're new here? I mean, I have been here before, but I'm kind of new here. First time is always challenging here. But I'm not here to make it hard for you. So let me help you find you some new clothes. Wow, look at this dress. Oh, you shouldn't have. We look like twins now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this chick doing here? Oh, come on, Clucky. No need to get by- I'm not violent. Yeah, then why are you holding that? Long time no see. <laughs> it's not safe here. Let's take you home. All right, then. Take care, okay? Don't worry about me. Star? Star! I was so worried. Where were you? Are you hurt? Are you alright? Um, uh, don't worry, I'm fine. Let's go then. Oh my g god! I did this just for you. For us? <laughs> now it's your time to die. What? <sighs> Another nightmare. Good mo- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put that down. My, how did it get to my room? <laughs> so what brings you here, Jane? Um, Slender wants you to come back to the mansion. He feels guilty for hurting you. Yeah, it was a surprise as well. So, you coming? Uh, oh, sweet, great heavens. I wish I wasn't so busy today. Ha, ha, ha. You know, I have to do the chores, study for my upcoming exam this week. Pam, it's summer though. Yeah, right. Ah, uh, I get it, Star. You don't need to lie to me, though. You can trust me.
I thought Jane said you were busy. Ah, Ben! I'm so happy to see you right now! You have no idea. Uh, is everything okay? Someone's after me. Ben, what should I do? That's it. I'm taking you to the mansion. Sunday idiot invited you anyways. I'm sure Jeff will be happy to see you. Wait, what? Well, let's go then. But no, wait! We here. I'll get Slendy. Jane, you here? Ah, uh, come in. Star, you made it. Hey, mind if I hide in your room? Well, yeah, sure, I guess. Also, feel free to change into my clothes. You can borrow my clothes. Oh, you sure? Yeah, it's no problem. You can have this room. All to yourself. Jane, thank you so much for helping me. I really appreciate it. Well, of course. It's my job, after all. <laughs> my job? Where are you? I wonder where's Jeff? Always at your service. Huh? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I said... What? Wrong? What's wrong with me lately? All the hallucinations. The nightmares. Hey, calm down. Come here. You can tell me anything. <laughs> you killed my mom in my dream. I wouldn't do that. I know. Star, you in there? Hide. Why though? Because I said so. Wow, hiding in the closet. What a unique hiding spot. Shh. Ah, you there? Shush me. It's not like we're playing hide and seek. So serious, dude. Back the F up. What? That was my last draw. Get out. Why did you do that? I wouldn't if you had your mouth shut. He's probably gone now. Get out. Yep, he's gone. Why that face? It's nothing really. Okay, so where were we? Oh yeah, your hallucinations and nightmares. Stop making fun of it. I'm dead serious. Lately, I keep passing out. I can't sleep peacefully, and I can't even tell the difference between reality, dreams, and hallucinations anymore. That sounds like the slender sickness symptoms. What's that? Experienced mostly by those stalked by Slenderman himself. That would mean Slenderman wants you to be one of his proxies. Which would make so much sense. What are you looking Turn at? Turn around. Oh, Jeffrey. Fine! Is this all about Slater Man? Don't listen to Jeffrey. He has no idea what his real slender signal is. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, I can't let you happily come and leave whenever you feel like it. So that's why I have decided I won't let you go unless you complete three tasks for me to prove yourself worthy. Do you understand? Not like I have a choice. You're running fast, I see. Anyways, first task starts tomorrow. Let's go, boys. <sighs> I hope that this time is actual occasion the nation. Why do you look so familiar? <gasps> ha! You're the stalker from earlier! Excuse you, ain't no stalker. Right. <sighs> well, good luck getting out of here. You need it. A L I V E. Hmm. Wait, wait, please. Can you help me out? I don't. I know I can't make it on my own. Hmm. But first, you have to help me steal something. Anything.
there. Hmm. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Does your mission start today? Oh, yeah. Well, but I can't get rid of this bad feeling. It's like my intuition or whatever it's telling me. Telling me that I'm going to die. And, uh, did I see something? There's something going on. S Slenderman is ready for you. Already on my way. <laughs> He'd help me. Well, hello there, newbie. Can't believe you're really going on the mission. Do I even have a choice? Because I don't think so. Indeed. Don't forget that we're here to help you. But good luck anyway, Star Spellman. You'll need it. Ready? Mm-hmm. Your first mission is to get rid of every single poster about me in town. Who are you? I don't want to die. Another elimination. Not now. Ben! Ben, help! Someone's after me! He tried to kill me! <laughs> ben! Shh, you're safe now. How about you take a nap, huh? Hmm. Be head careful who you trust. What? I'm say you can't trust anyone here. It says someone who stole my clothes. Okay, good point. I'm warning you, someone betrayed you today. Who don't believe me, fine. Then you believe this. W w where did you- Oh, this? I found it in the mansion. You're lucky you found out this way. Seriously. Because your time is up. Whoa, you okay? Don't worry about it. Be careful. <laughs> By the way, you did great on your mission. Later. Star Spellman, congratulations. You collected all the posters. But I did it. <sighs> I can trust them for sure. I really wouldn't be so sure about that. Um, did I say that out loud? Um, yeah, and I said I wouldn't be so sure about that. Why is that exactly? Never trust proxies. Chew one yourself. Unfortunately, but I never wanted to be one. Other proxies are just molasses bullies. Uh, okay? I'm so sorry that they treated you like this. Hmm. The name's Star, by the way. And I promise you that you never get bullied by them again. Good luck, girly. Going on a mission, huh? Well, of course. Hmm. I see you going somewhere. So, where are you headed? I'm trying to complete my last task. And what's in the sack? Oh, don't worry about it. But I noticed your goggles. Aren't those Toby's goggles? And what? 
You friends better leave him alone, or else. Today's task. We have to find a book in the haunted cave. I can barely see anything. Run, Star, run! Seems like he's blind. Ha, <laughs> good for me. You all right, Star? Run! <laughs> Need help? I'm glad you made it out alive. <laughs> you did great, again. What happened to your face? Don't worry about it, doll. As always. <sighs> friends are not supposed to help you during your missions. Then why are you helping me? What did you tell her, Rogers? She got you figured out herself. Is that so? Maybe I should kill her now then, before she knows any everything. Did you say? Oh, Slenderman hasn't told you yet. I mean, what? Ha! So he didn't. So I will take your place since he doesn't trust you anymore. Why do you think? Because I wanted to become a proxy as well. Huh? You see, it only takes one more task to complete. Are you out of your mind? Oh, Toby, if you think being a proxy is that bad, then if I take your place, you should be happy. I don't care about that. Uh, I can totally see it in your face. Rather know what you're planning on. To kill Star, of course. Are you that dumb? My last task is to kill her and her family. Don't you effing dare! What are you gonna do about it? What's going on here? Dark! Please, run away from here! For the man betrayed you! And Helen is just lying to you! Oh, uh, Toby. He's just kidding, right? Well, of course, darling. Toby always talks nonsense. You can trust me. But he's my friend. A friend? How naive. Don't be uh, stupid. I... Did you think I was your friend? That I liked you or something? Oh, please. Don't make me fucking laugh. Oh, look at you. Scared face looks so good on you. And how much I love the smell of fear. You, you liar. Let's make this more fun, shall we? <laughs> I you have five seconds. You better start running. So what you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Ready or not, here I come. Gotcha!
over my dead body, you psycho! Where are you going? What? How? Ugh, these hallucinations are killing me! I think it's time for you to go home. Please. Thank you so much for everything, Jeff. You're more than welcome. See you later, then. Are you really that excited to die? What a pity. I like you better scared and hopeless. I guess this is it then. No more running away. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the other side, love.